Turns out Ben doesn't just have a herb garden. Who let this happen? Every amazing dish is accompanied by incredible bread. So let's skip the dish and go straight to the bread. Homemade, whole meal, delicious. Oh. You'll need equal quantities of strong white flour, strong whole meal, warm water, dried yeast, black treacle and salt, and then whatever seeds and nuts you like. All you gotta do is plonk it in here. Weigh out your ingredients carefully, as it's quite a precise mixture. Next up, dissolve the yeast in water, a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of treacle. That one didn't work as well. And then all of our wet stuff goes in. Excuse your hand. And then next up, Ben has a magic trick. There, what's under here, Ben? This is now our soft, elastic dough, and we need to leave it in a nice, warm place to prove. Yeah. At which point it transforms itself from something a little bit like that into into that. <laughs> that that is, that actually was a little bit magic. Oh, there's some food in this world that you just want to punch, and that is it. Look. Well, it's funny you should say that. You need to knock the air out. <gasps> Do I actually get a punch? It's it? a technical process. It's called knocking the air out. There we go. Perfect. That's quite enough. That's fine. And stop, and stop. At which point, we add in our seeds. We go with those three quarters filled. They need to be left at room temperature for their second prune, and that'll take about 45 minutes. After their second prove, they've puffed up nicely. Now they need to be baked, so 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And the bread's ready. Happy? And what better thing to do on a Sunday than wait for our homemade bread to cool and get on with the gardening? Any excuse. Actually looks like soil, and this is all edible, yeah? Yep, black olive tapenade, spice bread, pecan sultanas. Now it's little carrot tops going in, so it looks like they're deep down. Or, uh, no, not those ones. Definitely picked those up my garden only this morning. And a little sprig of mint. Oh. Honestly, if you have a herb garden, mint is like weed, you can't stop it from growing. Hey, this is stuff you guys can relate to. <laughs> Oh, mm. and it's warm. Nothing better than warm bread. That is incredible. Home bake, unbelievable. And the fact you've added, what was it, four seeds? Four seeds. Four slices of bird seed into one bit of bread. Not bird seed. <laughs> there you go, you asked for bread, and as ever, we've taken it up a notch. We've done it. A whole bread garden. Winner. Go back to the red syndromes. I've got a bread baby. You can't argue with fresh bread. No, you can, you certainly can't. As usual, we've been up to loads of stuff this week. Um, we like totally made a chimichurri steak yeah. uh, in sort of East Brazil. Yeah, turns out, not Brazilian. Nah. Don't eat it in Brazil at the, all. No one, not one person. That is the whole point. If you are in Brazil and you've not had chimichurri steak before, now is your chance. You should eat it. It is incredible. It tasted just divine. That's a good word. We don't use that word enough. Divine. That, add that to the vocabulary. Okay. From fine. now on, I want you to describe some things as divine. Right. Try this one. White bait. That was divine. It was crispy as well. It was crispy fried white bait. We did it around his house. My house with my cat. I've got some interesting revelations for you. Oh. Ooh. Turns out that Ben's son has finally been allowed onto the social media platform. And Tyrone Ebrill has his own Instagram account. So if you're not following Tyrone Ebrill uh, on Instagram, then no, make sure you are. Support him. I think we should get it taken down. Don't you have to be- Now moving on from uh, TV's Ben Ebrill's first child mm -hmm. to the first dish that Ben ever cooked. It was a Bakewell pastry slice. That is so British. We cooked it, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And what we've done is we've thrown it back to Thursday. Do you know what, Jay? I was thinking, if only there was a show on TV that was going to tell me exactly what was happening today. It was all about today. What? Today? Yes, today. Well, um, where, where would you see this show being shown? I don't know, probably on the NBC network in America going out to over five million households. I think they might have something like that. You're kidding me. No, it's called The Today Show. This week, they are doing a whole segment each day 
on chefs that you might not really have heard of before because they mainly live online. Barry, Ben and I are going to be in New York. We will need to do that again because okay. you said Barry, Jamie and Ben. You've got to say me. Barry, Ben and myself will be on the Today Show. Well, you on did it again. You did it again. You forgot me. Right. So you know we've got that big shoot coming up in a couple of weeks, Mike. We, we need you to be organising that here. No, no. This yeah. Is, no, this has happened before. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last time that I, I didn't come with you. Anyway, if you want to see us on the Today Show, Tuesday 25th of March, 8.20 I think it is, uh, we're going to be cooking up a couple of really British classic dishes for you, and um, you can join in the conversation by using hashtag FreshCooksLive. Um, use that hashtag now, ask us a bunch of questions, uh, and we will answer them live on the show. I say we. Uh, Barry, Ben and I will answer them live on the show. How exciting is this? Again, just to clarify, I'm not going to be there. Uh, not this time. It's James! Yeah, uh, Mike um, has walked off. So James has been writing uh, a few of the blogs uh, for us over the last few weeks. If you haven't checked out the new blog, it's on sortedfood.tumblr.com. And oh, you, you, why am I saying it? Please, go and have a look. Um, I love talking to you guys online. Um, I talk to you guys online because I don't really fit in the fridge. Yeah, no, he's too tall. But yeah, we have <laughs> mental conversations and really cool conversations on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere. And yeah, it's, it's awesome. Whilst you're here, should we do comment of the week? We should. We should. We should. Uh, Last week, you sent us uh, quite a few of your jingles. Uh, Mike's still going through them and checking that they're safe to use. Keep sending your jingles in, because uh, we've had a lot of fun listening to them, and uh, hopefully next week we'll be able to use one of them. Maybe. Okay, comment of the week. Now, this was on uh, Instagram of our Guinness cake. <clears throat> that video was so offensive to the people where I live. <laughs> hashtag Dublin, hashtag Ireland, and we don't even talk like that. No one does, and here's a spoiler. There's no such thing as leprechauns. By the way, I love all your videos. I cannot actually believe you just used that comment. Right, um, we should probably go and console Mike. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna, Hang he's... Hang on a minute, I'm not going either. You are. That's... Oh, but Mike doesn't know that. Oh, right. Right, uh, remember to look out for at least three of us on the Today Show, <laughs> Tuesday morning in America. It'll be on the website. Ask us your questions, hashtag Fresh Cooks Live. And, um, yeah. How exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. Have a good week. Do you know what, Jay? I was thinking about that microwave that just went off. <laughs> oh, if you were a better father, Ben, maybe he wouldn't have to resort to using social media to let his emotions out. Exactly. Maybe if you didn't parent him yeah. via social media, yeah. which you evidently are doing, yeah. then he wouldn't be such a tear away. Anyway.